Hello guys, Keep Right on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. Let's see if we can get that done. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Gary Rowett. Now, Gary Rowett, of course, is our manager until the end of the season. And after that 1-0 win over Preston North End yesterday, that has put us in a very, well, could you say healthy position? Well, it's definitely put us, put us in a better position than we was prior to that game. Uh, we're now in 20th place, a couple of points above the bottom three. And, you know, the disrespect towards Gary Rout, um, you know, when he was linked with us after Wayne Rooney got sacked. I mean, there's a certain, I, I, I've been told that certain yeah, a certain fan said on Twitter that he would rather do some crazy act, basically jump on a fence of spikes. I don't know what he said, something along those lines. I, I think the tweet is deleted now. Like The disrespect towards this man. P are people forgetting that he finished 10th back-to-back -back and he saved us. He saved us after an 8-0 loss. The club was on its knees. No one gave us hope that season. And he turned it around and finished in the top half. Top 10 back-to-back, -back, like I said. And now he's come in and people say his football's boring. But I've seen people saying that we absolutely dominated Preston North End and had more possession. So... Yeah, um, he is rewriting history, um, Gary Rowett is, he, well, or, or should I say repeating history, because of course in, in his first home game in 2014 against Watford, he won 2-1, and the first home game back at St Andrews, he beat Preston North End 1-0. So yeah, the disrespect towards Gary Rowett, I find very, very, oh, pff, yeah, very disrespectful to be fair, um, because... Look, he's our best manager. That He's probably the best manager that we've had since, who, who knows, Chris Uton. I mean, even Chris Uton, he didn't get us promoted. And look at the team he had. Probably since, like, Alex McLeish. And that's way, we're going way back. And he won a, a, he won a major trophy as well. Well, can he count major trophy? Yeah, whatever. But, yeah, um, the next couple of games, or should I say the last uh, couple of games of the season, I do think we will survive now. I think we will survive. We've got Leicester. Hopefully, we can... Absolutely. We can hopefully we can do an Arsenal on Leicester and completely park that bus and scrap and get that nil nil. A point at Leicester is probably the most we can hope for. To be fair, I know we, we won the other day, but yeah, um, we've got Huddersfield, Rotherham, two games where we have to be picking up six points from, and then we've got the likes of Coventry at home, who I think are beatable. I mean, they lost to Cardiff at home um, yesterday, and then we have um, Cardiff at home as well. So Cardiff, Coventry at home, Norwich if they are still battling for those playoff places, then that's going to be obviously a difficult game. But yeah, Gary Rowett, like I said, he was my second choice to um, Tony Mowbray. Um, I think Gary Rowett, he knows his club, he knows he knows what it takes, he's been here, done that, been here before, knows the fans, knows the club, knows he just knows what this club is about, and that's what, he, as a player and as a manager, and that's what I, res I respect Gary Rowett. 100%, nothing but respect for Gary Rowett. He saved us once and he's doing it again. We could have gone, We, if it wasn't for him, we would have been relegated to League One, probably, I don't know, at least once. Um, you know, in his first tenure, I think that's overlooked what he actually did. I know we didn't get into the playoffs, but look at the team he had. Look at the team he had when he first came into the football club. And I know I'm going back a while, you know, but it's still like relevant to the point. He had like, the likes of Stephen Gleeson. He had League One players. We were signing, in that summer in 2014, we were signing League One players like Jonathan Grounds and Stephen Gleeson and David Cottrell on a free. We was, we was bringing in players for free. I know we brought a lot of players in that summer. And then, yeah, he wasn't even financially backed as well. And he got us 10th and 10th. Where have we been since? Let me know what you think. Let me, yeah, where have we been since? Um, yeah, I don't think we've been anywhere near 10th. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Gary Rout will keep us up. Let's see if we can hit one of your likes. And keep right on TV. Make sure to like and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much as always, guys. Keep right on.